welcome back to another episode of Cities with John. Today is the day for episode 5. I am thrilled to have you along for the ride as we continue this beach series. Finally, gosh, where have you been? Well, I've been working a lot. I've been working in multiple locations. I've been traveling around the great state of Kentucky. Uh, it's just been a long couple of weeks but it's almost over. Christmas is almost here. And with Christmas comes joy. And I hope you get a little joy out of this video. Episode 5, what's it about? Well, I had a little teaser. And if you watch the teaser, you know what it's about. It's time to take your hard-earned money and stick it in a slot machine. Because we are going to build some casinos today. Well, actually, truth be told, I accomplished a lot while you were away, while I was away. I even put a palm tree in the middle of a parking lot, just noticed that. Um, I detailed this beach. Uh, this is the uh, cove. Um, and I, I detailed it with some of these beach asset parking. They have the parking lots included. And don't forget about this dock shipped restaurant. Very cool, the letters changed colors. And breaking news, the casino area is already done. That's the end of the video. Thanks for watching Cities with John. We'll see you next. Oh, never mind. Well, so I did throw this together. And uh, this is just kind of the beginning of this. And today I'm going to be detailing out and changing some things up that I didn't like. Uh, also, they just needed some extra, extra love. So if you want to know what you missed what you missed the last time um, and while this was getting built. The reason I didn't really make a video was, was um, because I changed my mind a lot on the way the buildings were going to be structured and all that. But just in case you want to see it, here goes. That was uh, like 20 minutes worth of footage, cut down into 30 seconds. Basically, I was going along and just dropping buildings and taking a look. I literally had every single, every single casino building that I had in my repertoire built, um, just sitting on the side of the strip, trying to figure out which ones I wanted to use and where I wanted to use them. So I figured that didn't make for a very good video. Um, I think that, generally speaking, you guys enjoy some of the detail work and some of the more interesting work and thought process that goes into creating um, uh, different parts of this map. And today we will be, like I said, kind of just uh, fixing up a few things, doing some detailing and whatnot. So my idea behind this is... Ooh, glitch road my idea behind this is basically taking some of the great Vegas assets and kind of making my own little casino area here and um, the first thing that I did is I, I realized I wanted to kind of do a combination of some buildings so I combined the Rio Grande which I believe is like a downtown Vegas casino but I don't think that's the actual name. But the second part of that building to the left is actually the Flamingo, which is on the Las Vegas Strip, one of the older casinos on the Las Vegas Strip. And just combine those to make a, a pleasing um, to the eye building that I think, um, I think turned out pretty cool the way that it was kind of drawn together. So first thing here is throwing in some sidewalks so instead of using some of the actual sidewalks I'm just going to use some of these brick decals and make some paths to give this kind of a um, 
classier look. One thing that casino areas in general, Las Vegas in general, yeah, you got tons of sidewalks, you got tons of areas designated for people to walk, but they go wherever they want. They walk wherever they want, and they do whatever they want. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great city. Um, I love it. I miss it. I haven't been there in quite a while. But I used to go almost every year. I used to try to go to Vegas at least once a year. And in my original city that I built before I started doing YouTube videos, I had quite a large casino spot. But the reason that I'm doing this out this way, first off, I think it just kind of ties into this vacation area, uh, the beach resort. And these assets are very tropical in theme overall. Um, here I'm using the invisible sidewalk so people actually walk down those decals and they're not just for looks. Um, but anyway, I didn't really want to have this as part of my downtown. When that time comes to build a downtown, I, I just didn't really want the... Um, I didn't want to include, I wanted this to be an area that people could travel to from other areas of the map and kind of get away from where they're living and come hit the casinos up. And so that's just kind of the idea behind uh, this, uh, this little area here. So I threw in this fountain and something didn't feel right so I kind of got it fixed up where we centered that fountain kind of centered to the corner this corner is not exactly how do I put this it's not exactly um, symmetrical with the actual road corner but that's okay I mean that's that's not the end of the world so what you do in that situation if you're wanting to do something like I'm doing uh, or what I do in this situation is just let the props and the other things that you're going to put down kind of represent a more natural corner. So as you have that crosswalk there, you got the fountains across the street. Um, just trying to find a nice symmetrical look for this corner where it kind of represents, since it's all concrete, you know, we, we kind of want to find a way to represent where that sidewalk is. And you can see the people walking by. Uh, they're definitely taking a wider overall route. Oh, there's somebody walking right out of the sidewalk. That looked a little. Let's move this over just a tad. There we go. Um, so yeah, um, adding in these brick decals, you can just kind of make any kind of sidewalk you want. Uh, of course you don't have to use those you could use a number of different decals or you don't have to use decals at all you could just use the sidewalks the only thing I'll say about the sidewalks I'll be honest I haven't really dug into the workshop uh, to download different types of sidewalks I've only got a few um, so I kind of prefer going with the um, I kind of prefer going with the um, invisible sidewalks and using the decals and you just got to kind of since they are invisible sidewalks and only meant for people to take you know that you're not actually going to see where their uh, side, where the sidewalk is you just got to watch that you don't end up getting some strange glitchy stuff going on and I just noticed we've had some uh, people that are kind of walking a little too close to the, to the casino itself, but that's okay. So here I'm just trying to make kind of like a little bit of an entrance sign to the to the Rio uh, using these uh, light up letters. I've used in a couple of areas on the map. No better place, of course, to use light up letters than a casino district. The foot traffic has been fantastic. People are coming from all over the place to check out this beach resort. Oh, look at all! Look at that! Kaboom! How many of those people you think got hit by a car? 
a lot of them. I guarantee. Well, that guy needs to walk more right there. Uh, what? Whoa! Where's that guy going? What the? Oh my god! Okay. All right. I'm not the only one seeing this, right? Um. Oh. What is going on here? Wow. Roads. We don't need roads. Whoa. Oh. Huh. All right. <clears throat> Moving on. So, this corner, um, <laughs> oh, well, there's no telling how long that those cars have been floating. <sighs> so it's a high-tech city, all right? We have a lot of high-tech stuff, flying cars, um, evidently cars park in the air. So trying to make a nice little entrance here. You know, the entrance on the other side obviously looks really nice with the fountains. And um, adding in that little fountain there. And now we're just kind of making a little bit of a uh, kind of a nice, nice structured, structured uh, entrance to this, uh, to the Rio, Rio Grande Casino. Um, so yeah, these assets are huge. Um, one thing about a lot of these hotel assets that can be a little bit frustrating is they are huge. And the other hotels in the game, especially some of the ones that are vanilla that look good that you end up using, get completely dwarfed when they're real close to some of these assets uh, that you download and that's why I tried to put all these kind of together and away from the rest of the strip because they are so big they kind of uh, you know they kind of they look great but they just need to be in my opinion just kind of separate them it doesn't mean they can't be on the same road or they can't be on the same side of the map or whatever. It's just, I don't try to put them side by side. I try to just be cautious of how I'm mixing it up. But lots of color, lots of pizzazz. Definitely a better, um, there's definitely more detail involved with these casino assets. And there's a lot of them. So in Probably my next episode, uh, just to kind of tell you where I'm heading with this, uh, we'll be putting in a couple of casinos, and I'll be recording that from the get-go. No, um, no fast-forwarding, because I'm going to be getting a new computer soon, and we'll see. I'm not sure. If I'm going to have a huge performance difference in this game necessarily, but I know that video editing is going to be a lot easier. And I should be able to do a lot more things when it comes to recording and rendering and things like that that are just. It's not that they haven't been possible, but they haven't necessarily been easy to do. Um, the way that I'm having to do my videos now, due to my computer. The actual CPU is really the main thing. Everything else is pretty good, but I'm still I'm still on some good old fashioned 8350 uh, AMD processor and uh, well, I don't want to say old fashioned. It's a good processor, okay, but it does kind of struggle when it comes to.
that gap and then here I'm just adding some little tidbits of detailing and there you can kind of see So here, just kind of adding some curbs. Uh, I've been using these little concrete curbs a little bit more because what they do is where tile ends, you can generally use that and it kind of gives it a, um, you know, it kind of divides it where it's not just like stops where the edge of the concrete is. So, um, all right, so over here, I'm gonna throw in this path. Um, got that cool McDonald's as a that's as a Las Vegas McDonald's there. Um, I really love these park paths. You can use them anywhere. You know, you don't have to use them necessarily in the park, but I love them. Now this you do have to use in a uh, place must place inside of a park area. And it won't let me change it in placement mode. We can actually, well. I guess we could just paint this. Paint this as a park. Why not? It doesn't really matter. Sunset Hill. <laughs> it's completely flat. Sunset Hill. Now let's see. Oh, you must have a main gate. Dang it. You know what? Why am I even using. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. Although I could definitely rip people off for just using the sidewalk. $20 to use the sidewalk here. I'll just use this here. Here we go. I'm going to kind of throw in the gazebo. Just a nice little place to stop and hang out. Not everybody's going to want to go into a casino to get out of the sun. They might need a place to, place to rest for just a moment some little bushes <laughs> uh, do I want to use that probably not another okay. whoa swing it around there um, give me a nice little place for a food stand just throw in a little place to grab a bite using these um, park uh, park seats and all that that actually will generate people to sit on them so just a nice little
touch to make things a tad bit more realistic. Um, so let's just find a little fence to kind of look at this cute little picket fence here. Let's use this little picket fence courtesy of our good shaker friends. Um, let's see, drag it over here. And then we'll just go right into the bush. Doesn't matter. Perfect. All right. And. that off just a tad color and we're going up grass inside of the little snack food booth thing that look kind of stupid just kind of pull this pull it back in and maybe we'll just we can put some bushes um, kind of cover up that grass Finish it up. that works I haven't figured out Oh, by the way, you might notice in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, I've got some new uh, fun little things there. So I downloaded a, a mod called Render It, which basically uh, you can mess with lots of the graphical details, including the anti, anti aliasing. How do you say it? Why did I even start talking about stuff that I can't pronounce? Um, so yeah, you can mess with all the graphical details and then you have to kind of go in and turn off some other mods that mess with the graphical details, which I did. Um, and it significantly, it, it puts a little hurting on the on the old computer. Um, not gonna lie to you, but uh, it does do some pretty good detailing and makes some things look super sharp like the buildings themselves and, and like the lettering on the buildings and things like that windows all that look fantastic since downloading render it and really the only mod that I haven't messed with is that level of detail which I figured I'll save until I get my new computer because that is a monster apparently uh, a monster on your computer and will bog you down this building this Kelvin by the way uh, Kelvin Oh, that's Kevin. Dang it, Home Alone. Christmas tradition. Um, anyway, this Kelvin is actually a club. I don't know where... Uh, don't know where it's from. But it is a club. I think it looks kind of slick. And I thought it worked well right here, just kind of in the heart of the casino land. So here I'm just kind of expanding the hangout outside the hangout just to make it look like it's just all part of the asset and uh, what we'll do we can use well, this is going to be a pain using surface painter mm, yeah tell you what let's just use our little concrete pad that will be a lot easier to mess with, so we'll just plop that down a couple times there. There we go. And so clubs in Vegas, holy cow. You know, casinos have taken a bit of a backseat look out for that seagull uh, have, has taken a bit of a backseat to some of the other things it, well I should say gambling has taken a big bit of a backseat so these these casinos every time I went out there um, it was just like more and more casinos were eliminating gambling space for an alternative it's not always going to be gambling. It's going to be bring, bringing people to casinos. And a big thing now is these really over-the-top clubs. And I'm talking just huge clubs. And uh, I didn't go to any of them when I was there. I was playing a lot of poker and watching sports and betting on sports. I, I just didn't. 
nor do I really ever have a desire to go to a club. Um, but, man, they were lined up for days to get into the one at uh, Caesar's Palace. It was crazy. Um, but this club is going to have a nice little retaining wall to keep people from being able to peek in at all the fun that's happening out back. I'll just run this retaining wall right into there and then that way kind of covers that up and then we can use these palm trees will provide some shade and we can actually put I have a corner curb piece we can use that will work out just perfect there let's try that out real quick using the concrete curb. And we can just bring that one out, so, right. Very cool. Well guys, this is gonna be about it for our first video in this, uh, I mean, this is episode five, but this is kind of a new beginning for the strip. This casino area is gonna be a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to my channel. And thanks, big shout out to Nate Eubank, Diverse Entertainment. Check out Diverse Entertainment on SoundCloud. Just some tremendous beats. I'm going to leave you today uh, with uh, uh, one of these uh, great beats playing that I love. And uh, it's definitely inspired me and a great song to listen to as I'm working on my cities and I hope you enjoyed them as well. Um, wait a minute. No road connection. Oh, I don't think so. I'm not going to bed without a road connection with that table. Get over there, table. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Hope you all have a good night. We'll see you. More Cities with John coming up soon. Hopefully. Merry Christmas!